A poisonous weed is popping up in parks, public spaces, and yards all across the Northwest as the weather starts to warm up. The King County Department of Natural Resources and Parks says poison hemlock can be dangerous for people and pets. King 5's Erica Zuko reports on how to spot it and how to get rid of it. I'm reporting from Sam Smith Park, and this is one of those locations where the county saw a big patch of poison hemlock. It's been removed now, but they have a message they want to share it with homeowners in case you see some on your property. Just keep going. Rahel Stemfer says digging out these weeds will help prevent them from growing deeper roots across the Northwest. That it does really spread rapidly in this region. It's a non-native introduced species that doesn't have natural controls here. Poison hemlock's flowers can look like Queen Anne's lace. Its roots may remind you of carrots, but this is no garden staple and it's definitely not a snack. Every part of this plant is poisonous to humans and animals. King County Department of Natural Resources and Parks has detected infestations in parks and other open spaces. They work with other agencies to clean it up, but warn you may see it on your own property. You do not need to panic if you see it, but you, you have an opportunity here to reduce its spread, and I think it's a collective responsibility that we all have. Here's how to tell if it's poison hemlock. Look for a hollow stem with markings and no hairs on it. Before flowers bloom, it looks like this. Once they do, it'll have a white group of flowers in an umbrella shape. To get rid of it, cut it if it's big. Dig up roots using a shovel and throw it in the trash, not compost. It's not dangerous to the touch, but gloves are still a good idea when gardening. You may see it pop up again next year, but over time, fewer plants will lead to fewer seeds, and hopefully you'll see them phase out. Finally, don't eat it and keep your pets away too.